Previously, we have learned how to route to pages with the file-based routing system. While that is already a powerful feature, the app router can do even more. It lets you create custom request handlers for your routes using a feature called route handlers. Unlike page routes, which give us HTML content, route handlers let us build restful endpoints with complete control over the response. Think of it like building a Node plus Express app. You can perform all your CRUD operations with a database, but here is the cool part. There is no need to set up and configure a separate server. Nexus gives you everything right out of the box. Route handlers are great when making external API requests as well. For example, if you're building an application that needs to talk to third-party services, route handlers are perfect for that. Since they run server-side, your sensitive information, like private keys, stays secure and never reaches the browser. If you're coming from Pages Router, you can think of route handlers as API routes. Next.js supports get, post, put, patch, delete, head, and options. If an unsupported method is called, Next.js will return a 405 method not allowed response. Let me show you how to build your first route handler. I've got VS Code open here, and I've started by creating a fresh Next.js project using the command npx create next app at latest route handlers demo. Once the command completes, you should have a project that looks like mine. Let's head into the source folder. First up, we will create a new folder called hello inside the app folder. Just like page routes, route handlers must live in the app folder. Inside this hello folder, we'll create a file called route.ts. That's another Next.js convention we need to follow. Here, we will export a function that matches the get HTTP verb. And yes, that's another convention. Export async function get. We'll keep this simple and return a plain text response. Return new response, hello world. We're using the standard JavaScript response object here to handle our incoming request. We return a new response with hello world as text. In the browser, navigate to localhost 3000 slash hello, and you will see our text response, hello world. And just like that, we've got our first route handler up and running. That is really the core idea of route handlers. In the app folder, create a route.ts file and export functions named after HTTP verbs. In this case, when someone makes a get request to slash hello, our get handler jumps into action. Now, there are two important things to keep in mind. First, route handlers are super flexible with organization. So just like page routes, you can nest them in folders and subfolders to keep everything tidy. For instance, you could add a dashboard folder in your app directory with its own route handler. So create a new folder, dashboard, and copy over route.ts from hello folder, but change the text to dashboard data. If you want user-specific stuff, create a user's subfolder inside dashboard with another route handler returning user data. So copy, paste it, and change the text to user data. Now in the browser, you can hit slash dashboard for dashboard data and slash dashboard slash users for user data. Very straightforward. Second, watch out for conflicts between page routes and route handlers. Here's what I mean. Say you have a page route profile slash page.tsx in the app folder. So profile slash page.tsx with a simple export default function profile page and we return a div tag profile page. In the same folder, let's say you've got a route handler, route.ts. You have a get handler function that returns a new response profile API data. In this case, the route.ts will take over by default. So when you visit localhost 3000 slash profile, you will see profile API data instead of your page component. The fix is to move your route handler to an API subdirectory. So within profile folder, create an API folder and move route.ts within that folder. So profile slash route.ts becomes profile slash API slash route.ts. 
Now you can have both your page at slash profile and your API at slash profile slash API. To summarize, route handlers allow you to create custom request handlers for a given route. They are defined in a route.js or route.ts file inside the app directory. A route.ts file at the same route segment level as page.tsx will result in a conflict and the page will not be served. The route handler will handle the request. Now that you've got the basics down, let me walk you through some hands-on examples of handling get, post, patch, and delete requests with Next.js route handlers. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.